This is The Top, where I interview entrepreneurs who are number one or number two in their industry in terms of revenue or customer base. You'll learn how much revenue they're making, what their marketing funnel looks like, and how many customers they have. I'm now at $20,000 per talk. Five and six million. He is hell-bent on global domination. We just broke our 100,000 unit soul mark. And I'm your host, Nathan Latka. Okay, Top Tribe, this week's winner of the $100 is Rich Jones. Okay, Rich Jones, he is stuck in corporate. He wants to break free. He's binging on the show. For your chance to win 100 bucks every Monday morning, simply subscribe to the podcast right now on iTunes and then text the word Nathan to 33444 to prove that you did it. Nathan Latka here. This episode 577. Coming up tomorrow morning, you'll learn from Andrew Myers of Ripple Recruiting, which just passed 8,000 Ivy League resumes with 15 employers paying 300 bucks per month for access. Good morning, folks. Nathan Latka here. Our guest this morning is Addy Tulsian. He launched and led multiple small business-focused software as a service and mobile offerings at Intuit India. Uh, he's also management consultant at Diamond Consultants, which is now PwC. He's also a product manager. He's got an MBA, and he's doing very big things, especially in the SMB SaaS space. Addy, are you ready to take us to the top? Um, so, hi, everyone. This is a pleasure being over here. Um, so, so Addy, well, hey, Addy, so wh- why don't you start us off? So just let's, uh, let's just get context real quick. So tell us what, what your company, the current company you're building, what it's called and how you generate revenue with it. Our company is called numbers. And the way we do it is we are trying to create a platform for small and medium businesses in India and across the globe where they can manage their day to day cash flow. And the way we generate revenue is by providing them both software as well as various financial services products uh, that we get through partnering with financial institutions. So is the majority of your revenue kind of software as a service? It's like a 50-50 split. 50% comes from the software as a service and 50% comes from the uh, commissions that we get from the financial institutions. Okay, great. So let's walk us through an example of, of a real customer using you guys. Tell us that story. So let's take up a company called uh, NH1 Design. NH1 is basically into graphic design. And um, they go out and invoice uh, big sort of corporate uh, Fortune 500 customers uh, for the design work that they do. Now, this NH1 Design basically uses our platform to create the invoices and send it to those uh, big corporates. Now, whenever these many of these corporates actually do not pay them you know, more before 60 days or sometimes even 90 days. So they then use our platform to get invoice discounting on these, you know, invoices that they've created against these big corporates. So not only does the small business actually benefit from a platform that's very simple to use and manage their invoicing process, but they actually then use our partnerships with uh, you know, financial institutions to actually get advances on those invoices. So just to be clear, this is like uh, I would use you if I have if I invoice a company that owes me thirty thousand dollars worth of work, but it's on a forty five day term. So they, they it takes them forty five days to pay me. I could basically use that invoice, submit it to you guys, and you're going to help advance some of that cash early on. Absolutely. Yeah, interesting. Okay, so this is almost like I mean. You're almost like kind of investing. I get it's a, it's almost like debt investing against receivables, something like that, right? Absolutely. So it's it's basically receivable financing. So not only do we provide them the entire receivable management software, but you also get receivable financing through our partners. Okay. So let's focus on the SaaS side of this first. So so numbers dot dot I and you said fifty percent comes from SaaS. What are your pricing plans? Uh, we basically currently have two pricing plans. The first pricing plan is pretty much premium, wherein you know if you are a young startup or you have a very simple business um, and you're not doing much volume, you can start using our platform for free of cost. Uh, but then it sort of goes on to a paid version, okay, which basically gets on to um, in terms of Indian rupees, it is ten thousand Indian rupees per year, which is approximately. Uh, 175 US dollars uh, per year. Uh, and then, uh, you know, you also have to pay, we also enable with uh, payment gateways and some of the other payment options. And then you pay for every transaction. Got it. So on average, what's your average customer currently paying you? 
our average customer ends up paying somewhere around about, uh, or the overall realization is anywhere between, uh, you know, one eighty five to one ninety five dollars. Okay, so one hundred eighty five dollars a month or a year. A year. A year. Okay, got it. Uh, and then, okay, so let's go. Now that we understand a little bit more about the, actually, actually, so that's that's the yearly ARPU on the SaaS side. What do they pay in in transaction fees typically to you? The transaction fee comes to somewhere around about two percent of uh, every transaction that is done on the platform. So, and on an average, they end up doing anywhere between, uh, you know. It's on about five thousand to seven and a half thousand uh, US dollars uh, every year uh, on an average, and so, uh, so we get a two percent of that. So just to be clear, uh, the uh, your average customer, uh, you know, they are submitting around five to seven point five thousand dollars worth of invoices to you guys annually. That you then kind of forward that money earlier than the invoice due date. Is that accurate? Uh, I'm sorry, I just say that uh, it's five thousand to seven and a half thousand. Uh, U.S. dollars worth of transactions on the platform, uh, but what happens is if you are invoicing to a large customer, it does uh, it does not go through the payment gateways, right? So then the uh, the invoicing that really gets discounted are actually of a much higher value. I see. Okay, so uh, of the fifty percent of your revenue coming from transaction fees, the fee the, the the transaction sizes those fees are coming from average between five and seven point five k per one of your customers. However, there are much larger invoices that are processed on a different payment scheme, or no, or is there no transaction fee on those? No. So then there's no transaction fee because uh, those fees have been paid directly from one bank to the other. So we really don't come with the picture. Got it. Okay, good. That makes sense. All right, let's get some more history here. So, uh, Adi, before, or Adi, before you started this, you were working at Intuit India. Is that right? Yeah. And so, what were you doing there? So, I was a business head, and uh, a Bhaskar, who's my co-founder, he was product head. And what? So, what? Walk us through the kind of the life decision you made to leave, kind of a, probably a safe, you know, maybe fun thing at Intuit to start your own thing. How old were you when you made the jump? We were, I was 34 when I made the jump. And did you have family and, and kids or no? I have a family, yeah. Okay. But no kids okay. so far. So did you um, have a bunch of yeah. savings? I mean, did you know no matter what, even if the new business failed, that you'd still be good? Or, or what gave you the confidence to quit, quit corporate? So actually, just before actually quitting, um, I and my wife had started off a design agency. And uh, you know, it had been in existence for two and a half years, and it, had, it was doing very well. So I knew that... Uh, at once level, my wife has already settled and there was sort of money coming into the bank. Uh, so that kind of security was already there. I see. And how many kids uh, did you have at the time? Uh, no, we, I said we don't have kids. Oh, you don't. Okay, got it. So just you and I. Uh, we don't have kids. Okay, and yeah. what, what year was that when you left, uh, when you left into it and launched numbers? Uh, 2015. Oh, 2015. Okay, so fairly recently. Yeah. And then walk us, uh, this is always an embarrassing number usually, but do you remember what your first year revenue was at numbers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was exactly. Uh, so I can tell you, in, in in the U.S. dollar terms, we had just around about uh, five thousand odd U.S. dollars <laughs> in all twenty fifteen, right? Your first year. Yeah, that's great. And, uh, yeah, actually, we got that money. Really, that at that point of time, we had not built any software. We were we always uh, you know believed in this lean startup principle. So we actually started trying to help our customers get uh, you know, invoice discounting from our partner uh, financial institutions uh -huh. without actually with any, any software so that we could learn the entire process. Um, and uh, so therefore, while even before we started our entire process, uh, you know, we spent a lot of time on ground just, just trying to get our customers uh, these working capital loans. And that's where we're actually earning our, our dollars. That's, that's funny. And then walk us through uh, to last year, 2016, what was total revenue? Um, so 2016, we've you know sub crossed nearly around about um, uh, I would say now we are uh, we closed this on about eighty five thousand uh, dollars in total revenue. Got it. So eighty five thousand dollars in 2016 uh, total revenue. That's great. And then walk us forward through t uh, to today. How many customers are you serving? And it's what is it? January 2017. Yeah, so now we have more than 5,500 small businesses on the platform. Are those customers or users? So these are customers. These are individual small businesses, and then they will have multi-users. So in terms of total number of users, we, we have, uh, I think, so 8,500 to 9,000 uh, users. But in terms of unique businesses, we have 5,500. 
Okay, so if you're uh, if you have five thousand five hundred customers, and you told me earlier your average revenue per user is one hundred eighty five bucks per year. If I divide that by twelve, it's fifteen bucks a month. Can I take fifteen bucks a month times fifty five hundred customers to get about eighty four grand in monthly recurring revenue? Yeah, that's accurate. Yeah. See, also what happens is a lot of our customers also, uh, as I said, have our premium customers, right? And uh, so, you know, those customers, of course, don't pay us. Well, so hold on. Yeah, that's why I wanted to be really clear there. When I say how many customers do you have, I mean how many have given you a credit card and are paying you, not freemium. So, so you have 5,500 that are paying you on a credit card or no? Uh, no, no, no. Not all of them are paying us. No. Okay. How, um, sorry. So how many paying customers do you have? So I think right now our paying customers would be almost close to... If I'm not wrong, um, just give me one sec. We've crossed. Uh, I think we'll have around about 1,200 paying customers right oh, now. Great. Okay, so so if I take do, do I take 1,200 paying customers times a $15 yes. ARPU to get 18,000 in monthly recurring revenue? Is that accurate? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Why? Why I'm Why did you say when I said 84 grand earlier? Why did you say that that was accurate? Did I confuse you or something? So so actually, what happens is we also start getting money from the banks or FIs. Right. Oh, I see. This is just your SaaS revenue stream. So what you're saying yeah. is when you add all your revenue together, you're doing somewhere around 80 grand per month. Yes. Oh, okay. So walk me through that growth because you just told me in, in all of 2016, you did about 85 grand in total revenue. So now you're doing that almost monthly and we're only a month into 2017. How'd you grow that fast? I'm sorry. I think, you know, uh, I got two things wrong with you. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm, I said okay. I had 85,000 grand in 2016 as yearly revenue, right? Um, yep. That is what I have. Uh, and I have 1,200 paying customers, right? Uh, which basically becomes around about, uh, you know, uh, 70 or 75 odd dollars per customer, paying customer right now. Uh, so this has annually. increased. That's annually. Yeah, yeah. And this has increased, for example, when we started off our journey in the initial months, you know, we actually priced our, our uh, things very low. Okay. Eventually, we kept increasing our pricing. And therefore, now the pricing is, is close to what I shared with you. And that's where we now also started getting the, uh, both in terms of SaaS revenue per year, as well as a transaction fee per year, plus what we're getting from the uh, banks. The number so I'm trying to get at, though, Addy, is today, January 2017, what is just from the SaaS side of your business, what is your monthly recurring revenue? Our current account revenue will be, you know, 1,200 into, uh, you know, 175, divided by 12. No, this is okay, got it. So, so again, if I do 1,200 multiplied by 185 divided by 12, I get 18,500 per month in monthly recurring revenue just from the SaaS side of your business. And you're just to confirm that's accurate, correct? Yeah. Okay, great. All right, good. So let's move on because that's just one half of your business. You said the other half are from banks and transaction fees and things like this. Yeah. How are you? How are you? You have 1,200 customers. That's impressive. You're only a, you know, a year old. How are you getting these customers? Where are they coming from? So we have actually three channels of acquisition. The first channel of acquisition is we use a lot of online marketing. We go to very specific areas where we have our target customers and we acquire them online. The other thing that we do is, you know, as you would say, the moment you create anything that's to do with financials, the accountants uh, ecosystem come into place. So we actually work with a lot of accountants across the ecosystem who then in turn give us their clients uh, to start on the platform. And the third piece is we partner with other platforms, uh, example, who are serving small businesses themselves. Uh, and they then actually offer our uh, uh, offerings to their uh, current customers. So we basically use three channels. One, again, I said direct through online marketing, second through accountants, and third through other platforms for serving small businesses. The paid acquisition stuff you're doing per month, how much are you spending per month on paid acquisition? The paid acquisitions is, um, okay, so let me say, our cost of acquisition right now uh, for a paid is nearly close to U.S., $150. Okay, so you're spending about 150 bucks to acquire a new customer. Is that accurate? Yeah. Okay, and yes. what's, what's churn? Have any of your 1,200 customers left? And if so, how many leave on average per month? So our churn rate, usually see, uh, um, the initial churn rate was, was high, honestly. What's okay? high? Uh, by high, I mean, we were almost losing 
uh, close to you know three percent of our base every month uh, in the first six months of uh, uh, 2016. Uh, but now what we get is you know almost uh, you know our retention rate is 85 percent so for the people who have annually signed up or for, monthly for, um so you know since we've just been one year <laughs> so from that perspective i would say you know I, we calculate based on a three-month cycle we say every quarter how many people have we retained from our uh, from the time we've signed up okay and that so number is 85 percent it's 85 percent so now from the people who have uh, joined our platform since august 2016 we have retained 85 percent of those in as of january Okay, so you have a, a so you have about a three percent or four percent monthly churn rate then. Yeah. So, uh, so we basically start calculating these things as from April, uh, sorry, from August last year, and I said, you know, eighty five percent of them are still on to a platform. Yeah, but if I start to take August, June, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, that's six months, and you uh, yeah. you lose about fifteen percent of your base over six months, right? So that's about between yeah. two and three percent uh, customer churn monthly, right? Yeah, so okay. from, from an exact acquisition perspective, it really comes down somewhere just around about two because it's slightly compounded. So yes, it is Got it. in that range. Right. And, and, and how big is your team today? So we are 37 people. And where are you based? So we are based in uh, New Delhi in India and uh, there are two cities, New Delhi and Bangalore. Oh, very good. All right, great. Let's, uh, last question here before we get into the final few questions. What, uh, is self-funded? Have you raised capital? Yeah, we raised capital. We have... Uh, Two marketing investors uh, behind us, um, you know, one is a gentleman called Mr. Vinod Khosla. Um, so um, he has two funds, one is of course Khosla uh, Ventures in the US and another fund called Khosla Impact, uh, which works in uh, emerging markets. So they have funded us and the other company is called uh, K Capital, which is another one of the uh, marquee seed investors here in India. So how much have you raised total? We raised nearly uh, 650k US okay. dollars. Okay, and is that all on a convertible note, or is that an equity round? It's an equity round. Okay, very good. Well, hey, uh, uh, Addy, this is wonderful. Let's wrap up here with the famous five. The first one is: What is your favorite business book? Um, it's actually good to great. Number two: Is there a CEO you're following or studying right now? Actually, I love a, uh, you know my ex CEO Brad Smith. Uh, who gets into it. Number three, is there a favorite online tool you have, like Acuity Scheduling? Uh, more than three, I actually use Slack. I love Slack the most because it really makes my <laughs> life easier. Great. Number four, yes or no, do you get eight hours of sleep every night? I'm sorry, I didn't get that question. Do you, do you sleep eight hours every night? I, it's seven. Seven. Okay, good. So close. And you said you have no kids. Uh, you're married. Uh, and how old are you? Now I'm 36. Okay, so last question, Addy. Take us back 16 years. What do you wish your 20-year-old self knew? I just wish that he would have taken the chance at 20 itself instead of having to wait for 34. Top tribe, there you have it. Addy says he would have taken a chance earlier instead of waiting till he was 34. He's raised 650 grand from Vinod Kosha and other top tier investors. Launched a little over a year and a half ago, now serving over 1,200 paying customers, paying 15 bucks a month for about 18 grand in SaaS revenue. He also does revenue through banks and transaction volume. He's gotten churned down to 3% or 2% gross monthly, spending about 150 bucks to acquire a new company, helping, again, folks get smarter and really get financing against their invoices payable in the future with his team of. 37 based in New Delhi, India. Addy, thank you for taking us to the top. Thanks, John. If you enjoyed episode 577, go back and listen to yesterday's episode with Road. I simply asked, will this mobile payment startup survive? Top Tribe, I love giving away free money. I feel like Oprah giving away cars, and I have something special for you today. How many of you have heard our super sharp guests talk about success they've had with Facebook and Google ads? Well, all of you listening right now, yes, if you're listening, you get $100 in free AdWords. Here's how you get it, okay? Again, thanks for listening. Get the free $100 from Google, right, when you sign up with my website host provider, HostGator. Go sign up now to get your free money, HostGator.com forward slash Nathan. Again, that's HostGator.com forward slash Nathan.
Okay, Top Tribe, I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning. And don't forget, before you listen to any other episodes, subscribe on iTunes right now for your chance to win 100 bucks every Monday.